Hi, this is John Malvey from My Bookkeeper Software. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up Bookkeeper to allow electronic invoicing to your customers. So the first thing you'll need to do is set up your service provider information within Bookkeeper so that Bookkeeper can connect with your service provider and send the emails. So under the company menu option, go to manage current company information, click on the additional tab, and then click the email button. And the first tab here for service, you'll see what you need to be able to set up. And you'll enter your server information, login ID, password, encryption, port. All of this information is going to be provided through your service provider. So you need to contact them or get their documentation to see what settings are applicable to allow third-party applications to send emails through them. And sometimes for, uh, say, a service provider like Gmail, they require to set up an additional password that you would use instead of your login password. And that's for them, they call it an app password, and that's the password that you would actually use here and not your login password. So you need to really get a good understanding of what it needs to be set up there so you can enter it here in Bookkeeper. Once you have that set up, then you want to make sure that you can send emails. And so send yourself a test email to some other account. And once that is received, then you know that Bookkeeper can generate the email and send it. And that is the critical piece to make sure, you know, everything's working properly within Bookkeeper. On the next tab, the invoice template is where you can set up a, a template that you can use for setting up customers. So this way, every time you set up a customer, you don't want to have to go and type in all the information for each customer. You can set up a template that will be used as default that you can modify for each customer if you want. So here I just have some basic information set up here. So you have your subject, your body. You can do attachments. So let's say you have a PDF that maybe has a coupon or some other kind of promotional material that you want to include. You can attach those here as well. When you're creating your subject line or in your body, you have the option to insert dynamic fields. And just clicking on it, you can just see the list of different things you have available to you, you know, invoice information, you have custom fields. Um, you can do the first line of the invoice if you want to have something more descriptive, shipping information. So all of that's available to you, and you can put that anywhere in the subject or the body. And you'll notice that these brackets here, the greater than and less than brackets are important. That, that's how Bookkeeper knows that this is a dynamic field, and it'll swap in the information related to that invoice when these invoices are, are created. On the reminder template, this is another template you can set up if you want to have reminders sent out to your customers that, are, that have overdue invoices. Again, you have a subject and a body. If you want, there is a dynamic field called open invoices that will list all of the unpaid invoices um, and you can put that in, in anywhere in the body if you wanted to. For the options, you can determine whether or not you want to have invoice reminder set up that it's running, yes or no. And if it is running, then how often you want this to look for invoices, how far past due you want them to be before the invoices get generated. And then the other option is whether or not you want to have Bookkeeper generate these reminders as soon as it starts up. So if you do set this to yes, every time Bookkeeper starts, it's going to go through and look for past due invoices, whether or not invoice uh, reminder generation is on. And then if so, it will go through and generate the invoices as appropriate. If you don't have it on, you don't want Bookkeeper to do it automatically, you can always come to the screen and says, click Send Reminders Now, and it'll go through that process. It's so just kicking it off manually if you want to. So once you have all of that saved, and when you're creating your customer now, there's an invoicing tab here, and you'll want to make sure that to get your customer to receive invoices electronically, either has to be in PDF format or it has to be in plain text. And so I have PDF set up here and then check this box to say, yes, I want them to receive invoices electronically. And then you have to put in the address, the email address of, of the customer who's going to receive this invoice. And then once you do that, whatever you had set up at the template for your company will automatically appear here. 
And now you can always modify it if you need to for this particular customer. You, all the dynamic fields are available to you. And you can also, if you need to change reminder settings, you can do that. So maybe in this case, you don't want to have this customer get invoices, uh, reminders automatically, or maybe a, a different number of days past due before they get theirs. You can do that. And then you can set up the preview and you can take a look to see what the email is going to look like. If you have existing invoices for this customer, it's just going to grab some sample information kind of just to show you know what it looks like. And then once that is all set up, when you create an invoice for this customer and then you go to print it, you'll see this icon here that indicates that this is going to be sent electronically to this customer when you click the print. So after you click print, it'll go through and generate all the invoices. And then after that, it'll give you a prompt to say whether invoices have been generated successfully. And then after that, we'll actually go through and communicate with your email service provider and generate the invoices to the customer. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching and thanks for being a bookkeeper customer.